tired of continuously switching your X tool Y axis over to your rotary attachment and just waiting for that one time for that wire to snap? Well, today I'm going to show you a solution to that problem. And that's how we do it. I have the X-Tool Rotary Attachment 2, and if you're like me, you have had to disconnect the Y-axis every time you want to use your rotary attachment. And these connections are not in the best place to be easily disconnected and reconnected, which can lead to broken wires. I found someone selling a switch that I can add to my X-Tool that allows me to leave everything plugged in, or at least easier to plug in and disconnect. It was $30 and I've included a link in the description below. It comes with the switch and four attachments. One for the motherboard, one for the stepper motor, one for the rotary tool, and one for a chuck. The rotary and chuck are basically the same thing. However, it would allow you to hook up two different rotaries. So, if you had an older rotary attachment and then bought the RA2, you could have the chuck set up on the RA2 and just use the rotary on the old one so that you don't need to switch back and forth. There were no instructions included with the product. The connections were self-explanatory, however the mounting options were left up to you. The back of my switch that I received was not secure, so I used a few pieces of tape to secure it into place. I wasn't sure where I was going to mount this. I do have the X-Tool enclosure, so I had to be careful on where I put the switch so it would not stick out or hit anything. It did come with mounting holes, but it didn't fit anywhere to mount and the holes were too small to use one of the X-Tool framing screws anyway. So I decided to mount it under my front rail by the motherboard. I had to break off the screw holes so it would fit nicely onto the rail and out of the way. To break them off, I simply used some channel locks and twisted them off. I then used a small metal file to shave off any extra pieces that were there. I put some double-sided sticky tape on the bottom of the switch and stuck it to my frame. I made all my connections, one to the motherboard, and one to the Y-axis. I then tucked all the connections, except for one, the rotary connection, up into the rail and secured them with a zip tie to keep them out of the way. Now all I need to do if I want to use my rotary is connect the rotary attachment to the rotary wire that I left readily available. You can see that my Y axis is currently selected on my switch and my laser will move out of the way. Then, with a flip of the switch, I can simply go from running my Y axis to using my rotary attachment. No more having to disconnect and reconnect multiple wires. The mechanics of the switch work like a charm, and the placement I selected keeps it out of the way. Thanks for joining us today. I've included links in the description below for the items that were used in today's video. If you like what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button so we can get more content out to you. If you didn't like what you saw, Smash that thumbs down button twice to really let us have it. Until next time, this is John with That's How We Do It. Brought to you by Rustic American Woodwork.